Okay, praise the Lord. Um, who are you? Okay, praise the Lord. I, yeah, thank God for each and every one of us. I thank God for the life He has given to us. It's 12 midnight. We have to start. Um, I glorify God for making it possible for us to be alive again in the land of the living. If we all can see, the alarm clock did not wake us up. It is only by the special grace of God that we are alive today. Many that many have gone, we wake up with so many people, but today they are no more. Many went to sleep last night. They woke up at midnight based on their time, but at this hour, most of them are no more. Many went to walk, left their house happy, but at this hour, they are no more. Many woke up healthy, smiling, and they woke up in this, this morning or yesterday morning, but today, they are no more. Either they are in the sick bed, on their sick bed, or they are in the hospital, or most of them are being pushed in into the morgue by this hour, or most of them are crying, or most of them are in coma. That you and I are alive at this moment is just by the special grace of God that we were able to see the bright of this day able to wake up and use our two legs and get ready to be in the presence of the Almighty God. It's just nothing but His special grace. We are not better than those that has given up ghosts. No, well, we are not even anything to be compared to them. Everything that we are today is just by the special grace of God. And now we'll continue to worship God as long as he has given us the privilege of a new day, of a new life, of a new beginning. Even if we don't have anything else to be happy for, we should be happy for that. We did not give him anything. We did not pay any dime for us to bless us. So I worship God. We magnify his name. Every day when we wake up, every day when you lie down, you just like a piece of wood that is being dropped either on your mat or on your bed. And waking up is just by the love, that deep love, unconditional love, that love of God that is so peaceful, so patient, so kind has woken us up. So we thank God. On that note, may the name of Jehovah, may the name of the Almighty God, may the name of God who created the whole universe, who created you and I in his own image, may his name alone be glorified. May his name alone be worshipped. May his name alone be magnified. Because he said there is no other name underneath the earth. He need the earth. Inside this earth we are living. Under the heaven, inside the sea, inside the ocean, there is no other name except the name of God, except the name of Jehovah. And at that name, every name was bow. And our God is so powerful that he created us in his own image and he brought the breath of life into each and every one of us. Let us worship him. I thank you and I cover each and every one of us, our environment our phones, our laptops, wherever we are, our individual houses, our doctors and our doctor entrances. I cover each, all of them with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And it is our desire, it is my honest and ultimate desire that the Holy Spirit of God will take preeminency and speak through our voices and see through our eyes the glory of his name in the mighty name of Jesus. 
and I'm gonna hand over to you since you don't have to please lead us. Um, hold on, let's see what I give you to do. No, I'm gonna hand over to Sister Grace. It's not you. I know you're doing the Bible reading. Is that you? Let me see what I did. <laughs> Sister Grace, don't stay there and look at me. You. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, good. I'm gonna hand over to Toha to please lead us in a very short open prayer. God bless you, my sister. Amen. Good morning, everyone. God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Holy, most holy is the Lord God. He is the Lord God. He is the Lord God. Holy, most holy is the Lord God. He is the Lord God. Most high. Holy, most holy Lord is the Lord God. Oh, oh, he's the Lord God. He's the Lord God. Holy, most holy. He's the Lord God. He's the Lord God. Most high. We love whoever we are this morning. Let's begin to worship the Lord. Begin to appreciate the name of the Most High God. He's the reason we are here this morning. He's the reason we are alive. He's the reason we are not consumed. The Bible says in the book of Lamentation that it's by cause of his mercies. You and I, we are not consumed. It's not because of our righteousness. It's not because of our goodness. It's not because of our kindness. It's not because of who we are. It's not because of anything we have done. It's because he loved us so much. He cared for us so much. He looked above our little, little mistakes. He still cared for us. He still loved us. Let's begin to appreciate him. Father, we bless your name. Abba, Father, we worship you this morning. Abba, Father, we magnify your name because there is no like you. Oh, Lord, we are grateful. We are thankful this morning. Oh, Lord, because we know it's by your mercy we are not consumed. We know it's by your mercy we are not destroyed. We know it's by your mercy, oh, God, we have not perished. Not because we are faithful. Not because we don't make mistakes. Not because we don't do wrongs. But it's your mercy that is keeping us. Uh, oh, Lord, we say thank you this morning. We appreciate you this morning. We appreciate you this morning. We give you all the glory that is due to your name. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Begin to worship him. Begin to thank him. Begin to appreciate him. Fix your heart back to the goodness of God. Fix your mind back to his faithfulness. Fix your mind back to his loving kindness. Begin to look back and worship this God. Begin to worship him because he is faithful. He is good. Remove your eyes from those challenges. Remove your eyes from those troubles. Fix your eyes on the life he has given you. Some people, they don't have eyes. They cannot see. Some cannot hear. Some cannot speak. Some, they don't have hands. Some, they don't have legs. Some cannot even breathe. They have to pay to breathe. But you and I is not so. Let's appreciate him this morning. Let's give him all the glory that is due to his name. You are the reason where we are living. Jesus, you are the reason we are here. Vele do mare, you are the reason for our life, Lord. The reason for our existence, the reason we are here, O oh Lord. Vele do mare, you are the reason I am living, oh. The reason we can breathe, Lord. The reason we are here, Lord. Vele do mare, you are the reason for our living, the reason for our existence. There is it for our life, O oh Lord. 
Father, we bless your name. You are the reason. Oh, Lord, you are the reason. Not because of who we are, because of what we've done, but your faithfulness and just forever. In Jesus' name, we worship. Amen. Beloved, this and let us begin to pray. Ask God for mercy. Anything that will hinder the presence of the Lord this morning, anything that will make his presence not to be evident in our midst, let us begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Father, we ask this morning that the cleansing blood of Jesus will begin to cleanse us. The purging blood of Jesus will begin to wash us. The sanctifying blood of Jesus will begin to sanctify us. The purifying blood of Jesus will begin to purify us. Oh Lord, we ask that you cleanse us. Every sin of omission and commission Every confession is a short sin. Every sin of the inner man, sin of our heart, of our talk. Lord, have mercy on us. Wash us with your blood. Cleanse us. Put your sanctify us so this morning. Purify us from all uncleanness. That our God during our sacrifice this morning will be an acceptable sacrifice unto you, my Father. Lord, we don't want to gather in vain. Put us. Purify us. Sanctify us. Wash us. As a ministry, as individuals, we ask for your cleansing. We ask for your purging, we ask for your washing, my father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Mm -hmm. Let us begin to ask the Holy Spirit to come and take over this hour. We, because without Him, we can do nothing. We have no power of our own. Let Him come and feed this place with His glory, with His presence. Let the Holy Spirit go and quicken our brethren wherever they are. Bring them forth into His presence this morning, that they may receive the goodness of the Lord. That that the, the blessings we ordained for us this morning, that the Holy Spirit of God, we pray, we ask for oh God that You fill us with Your glory. Fill us with your presence. Fill us with your power. We want to experience you in another dimension this morning. Oh Lord, deep inside to your work. Revelation and knowledge to your work. Lord, take us deep, Lord, this morning. Fill this atmosphere with your spirit, with your presence. Lord, we will feel your presence. That our lives will not remain the same. We have come to encounter you this morning. We are not come to gather because we just want to gather and come like usual. But we want to encounter you. This morning, Holy Spirit of God, quicken our brethren wherever they are. Bam, bam, bam. Bring them into your presence this morning, and they may be blessed. In Jesus' name, we will pray. Is our love. Let us begin to come against every works of darkness wherever they are gathered this morning. The Bible says, "When men slept, the enemy came to sow tears." Let us begin to foot out every tears that have been sown in our lives this morning, that have been sown into the earth and with the stars, into the element of nature to walk against this guy this morning. Father, this morning we begin to foot out uh, and we begin to destroy all the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, every demonic implantations, projections, and uh, programmings uh, into the elements of nature. Into the garden, oh Lord, to hinder the move and the presence of the Lord. We silence them this morning in the name of Jesus. We are put out every test sown in our lives when we are asleep. We are put out every test sown in the lives of our brethren that might hinder them to be here this morning. We silence and paralyze every stronghold of darkness, every agenda of the wicked. We bring it to Lord in the name of Jesus and we paralyze the power of the enemy over this morning country that want to hinder the the presence of God or the word of God to have these speakers in this atmosphere. We silence them by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, finally, let us begin to plead the blood of Jesus over this God, over this atmosphere, over our God, over our lives. Begin to plead the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Let the blood that speak the better things and the blood of heaven begin to speak better things for us this morning. As we have gathered, my Father, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We release the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the blood that speak a better things than the blood of heaven begin to speak better things for us this morning. Begin to speak better things in this atmosphere. We get to speak better things in the internet, the gadgets we are using to commit it. in every aspect of our lives. Uh, we ask that the blood speak better things. Uh, we ask that the blood speak better things uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of speaking now speak a better thing than the blood of Abel. We get to speak better things in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> 
Amen. 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 Father, Amen. Lord God Almighty, we thank you this morning. Awesome with him, my gracious Father, faithful, great, and mighty King. Oh Lord, thank you for waking us up. Thank you for strengthening us, for your enablement, your empowerment. Father, we know God is by your mercy. We are not consumed. It's not because we are prayerful. It's not because we are good. It's not because we can fast. It's not because we know what to do, oh God. But because you love us so much, oh God. You care for us more than we care for ourselves. We say thank you for all this been there for us. So I'll give you your angels charge of us. Because if you should open our eyes, so Lord, for us to see the wickedness of the enemy towards us every second. Ah, if it's not good for you, we cannot stand. But we say thank you for not giving us as a prayer to the mouth of the enemies. Thank you, Father. Lord, we commit this God in your hands. Oh, Lord, even as your presence is already here. Oh, Lord, let your presence continue with us, Lord. Come and do that which only you can do this morning. We don't want to just come, oh, Lord, as usual, but we want to encounter you this morning through your word. Oh, Lord, no one comes to your presence and remain the same. May we not remain the same this morning, Lord. Touch our lives, Lord. Feel us afresh, Lord. Let there be a renewal and a revival in our spirit this morning. Thank you, Father, for what you are going to do. Because we know, Lord, you are going to do mighty things this morning. Blessed be your name, Lord. We cover this gathering of the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Over to you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, um, Sister Toha. Thank you for that um, wonderful prayer. And I pray that the Almighty God will continue to strengthen you, empower you with the more in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that Jehovah God, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Almighty God is in our presence and will continue to do more and break every break of us in our lives if only we will believe with faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to hand over back to you, Sister Ellen, to please lead us in our praise and worship. God bless you. If your environment is okay, please, let's try to be on video in the mighty name of Jesus. We are in the presence of the almighty God. So there's no need to hide our face. God knows us. In Jesus' name, amen. Over to you, sister, amen. I thank you, O God, for counting me worthy, O God, to sing to you, Lord. May I not sing the word of my own, O God. Let me sing the word that you have devoted in my mouth to speak it, to sing this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the strength of you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Wherever we are now, it is by your grace. Many are dying, many are perishing, wherever we are now, it is by your grace. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, my Lord, wherever we are now, it is by your grace, many are dying. Many are perishing wherever we are now. It is by your grace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord, wherever we are now. It is by your grace. Many are dying. Many are perishing wherever we are now. It is by your grace our sins are gone. It is by your grace our sorrow is no more. It is by your grace every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. The most tiring 
most are in it, the most are in it in our lives today. The most are in it, the most are in it, the most are in it in our lives today. The most are in it, the most are in it. The most are in it in our life today. The most are in it. The most are in it. The most are in it in our lives today. Come and take your place, O oh Lord. Come and Take your place, O oh Lord, in our lives. Come and take your place in our lives. Come and take your place. Come and take your place, O oh Lord. Come and take your place, Jesus, in our lives. Come and take your place. Come and take your place. Miracle walker, you are the miracle walker. Come and do a miracles, miracles today. Come and do your miracle, your miracles today. Powerful healer, you are the powerful healer. Come and heal our destiny, our destinies today. Come and heal our destinies, our destiny today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Destiny changer. You are the destiny changer. Come and change our destinies. Destinies today. Come and change our destinies. Destinies today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. You are the greatest. You are holy one. You walk upon the sea. You raise the dead. Great and mighty King, Lord, you are. Everything written about you is great. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. Oh, you are great. You are great. Say, you are great. You are great. Say you are great, you are great. Everything written about you is great. Demons tremble at your presence. 
what a mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything, everything about you is great. You are great, you are great, you are great, you are great, you are great. You are great, say you are great, you are great, you are great, you are great. Oh, everything written about you is great. He holds the key to your heart. Our Lord holds the key. To your life, when sickness and trouble cease to take your soul away, he holds the key to your life. Allah holds the key to the problem. No weapon that we fashion against you shall prosper. He holds the key to your life. He holds the key to your life. My God holds the key to your life. When sickness and trouble cease to take your soul away, he holds the key to your life. He holds the key to your life. Glorious God, Beautiful King, an excellent God, we bow before your throne. Glorious, glorious God, beautiful, beautiful King, an excellent God, we bow before your throne. Your name is Alpha Omega. Eglest, Almighty, Almighty Jehovah. Glory. We bow before your throne. We bow before your throne. To worship at your feet. We bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. We bow before your throne. Worship at your feet. We bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. Bow before your throne. Worship at your feet. Bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. I know. The married in my life. I know he's not far from Ramo. I know when he shall arise, the world will know that I already my life. We know, we know, we are very sure. We know. It's not far from us, so oh. we go and when it shall arrive, the world will know that our Redeemer lives. 
my brothers, my sisters of rhyme. I want to know how prepared are you when he, when he shall arise. Will he meet us in a very good faith? Lebro Santarabali Apos Cantarabalo, Jesus. Jesus, Maria Bos Santarababa. Father, I want to give you praise this hour. I want to bless your name. I want to exalt you because there's no like you. I give you all the thanks, oh God. We thank you for the privilege for being in your presence. We thank you, King of Glory. We thank you, ancient of days. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, faithful King. For in Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Praise mm. the Lord. Amen. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Wow. Jesus, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we glorify your name because there is none, there is none to be compared unto this holy name of God. We know that our Redeemer liveth, and we know that our Redeemer is very sure. And we know that our Redeemer is not far from us. And when he shall come, all the words, everywhere we know that my, our Jesus liveth. Our God, the demons tremble at his presence. They tremble, they tremble, they tremble. And when God shall come, the whole world shall tremble. That is the power for the God that we have. He holds the keys of our lives. That is the reason that we are living. No principalities, no powers fashioned against us shall prosper because of this name of God. His name is Yahweh. His name is almighty. His name is ageless. His name is changeless. His name is Yahweh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi. His name is Jehovah Sikhene. There is none to be compared unto this holy name. That is Jehovah's name is this, his name. His name is Jehovah El Gibor. We, Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you for this kind of grace. We glorify your name for being so faithful and being so close to your word, to, your, to our lives in everything that we do. Father, we worship you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Sister Amen. Thank you so much for that wonderful praise, for that worship, for what you have done. We thank God for his presence in our midst. We thank God for his miracle. We thank God, if, not for, if nothing else, I am filled. I am blessed. I am, I don't even know you, but the power of God is in our midst and his presence continues to dwell in our midst and among us. And I know he will do great and mighty things in our lives. If only you will believe with faith in Jesus Christ, there is nothing, there is no mountain, there is no hill that our Lord cannot bring to a level. There is no altar that he cannot destroy. After all, Joshua went around the wall of Jericho and the wall of Jericho came crumbling down. And that situation, that challenges, as the walls came down, that is how that challenges will come down. If only you believe. May the name of Jesus be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to hand over to you to Sister Grace to please lead us. Our Bible reading, our Bible reading will be taken from the book of Mark, chapter 22. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, I pray I'm over to you, Sister Grace. God bless you. Mark chapter 4, for the years from 22. Yes. Amen. Um, our Bible reading this morning is taken from the book of Mark chapter 4 from verse 21 to 41. I read in Jesus' name. Also he said to them, It is a lamb brought to be under a basket or under a bed. Is it not to be set on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden which will not be revealed nor has anything been kept secret that it should not come to light. If anyone has ear to hear, let him hear. Then he said to them, take heed that you hear. With the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. And to you who hears, more will be given. For whoever has, to him more will be given. But whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. And he said, the kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground and should sleep by night and rise by day and the seed shall sprout and grow. He himself does not know how. For the earth yields crops by itself. First the blades, then the heads, after that the full grain in the head. But when the grain ripens, Immediately he puts in the sickle, 
because the harvest has come. Then he said, to what, to what shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or with what parable shall we picture it? It is like a mustard seed, which when it is sown on the ground, is smaller than all the seeds on the earth. But when it is sown, it grows up and becomes greater than all the herbs and shoots out large branches so that the birds of the air may nest under the sh its shade. Verse 33. And with many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it. But with a parable, he did not speak to them. And when they were alone, he explained all things to his disciple. On the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the side. Now when they had left the multitude, they took him alone in the boat, and he was. And other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the, into the boat so that it was already filling. But he was in the storm asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? <clears throat> and the fear exceedingly and said to one another, Who can be who can this be that even the wind and the seed obey him? May Lord bless the reader of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. amen and amen. Thank you so much, um, my sister. May the Almighty God bless you for this word. Yes, um, the first fast we read said there is nothing hidden before God, no matter what we do, whether we evangelize or not, whether we are living a faithful life or not, whether we are living a holy and righteous life or not, whatever we do, Nothing is hidden before God. Everything is made manifest. You know, he knows and he sees everything. And he says, when the storm of the winds of the storm was, you know, tossing them around in the ocean, Jesus was fast asleep. They were scared. And he said, let there be peace. And peace be still. And the wind and the earth, everything obeyed him, which means God has also given us the power and authority. He said that we do more than even him himself did. So what is that difficulties, the challenges, the Bible's telling us, let it be still, let there be peace in our lives, let there be peace in our situation. God is powerful. If only you will believe, if only we hearken unto the voice of Almighty God, he will give you the power, he will give you the strength to preach, to evangelize, to do more and to live a life of Jesus Christ that will bring light and bring people into the kingdom of God. May the Almighty God bless each and every one of us as we have had, and we're going to continue. I'm going to hand over to the man of God um, and to continue. Good morning, sir. You are welcome. God bless you. I hand over to you. Um, good morning. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, forgive me for not being on a video today. Um, if I venture next week, I, I would. Okay, but I'm on a video just that you can't see my face. So, half video. Sister Itan, why are you laughing? <laughs> half video. It's half video. Um,
Amen. I think the man of God is having a network issue. It's not going to also praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Can you all hear him? Ah, we can hear you, man. Can you hear the man of God again? Can you hear him? No. Okay. Uh, no problem. Praise the Lord. While we are waiting for him to reconnect, um, we we had well, we we read from the book of Mac. I'm gonna call on Sister Stella, if you don't mind, to give us your own contribution while we are waiting for the man of God. God bless you, my sister. While we are waiting for the man of God to rejoin. Sister Stella, your own contribution, my sister. God bless you if you have anything for us. You are muted. Okay. Oh. Nothing at the moment, Sister Wuna. Okay, while well, we are waiting for the man of God, I'm going to go to you, Sister Grace, to please give us your own contribution. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hmm. I don't have any contribution right now. <laughs> you read the oh. word. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I'm going to contribute from the last verse 44. I mean, 40, where it says, where Jesus asked them, why are you fearful? And how is it that you have no faith? We all know the Lord was with them in the boat, but still they were afraid. They thought he had abandoned them. They thought he was sleeping. They had no faith in him, although they know all the miracles he has done when they were like on the other side, but still they don't believe in him when they are like, when this thing comes. So it's for us. Like sometimes when we are going through things, we think that the Lord is sleeping. We think that he does not hear us or we think that he is sleeping on us. We think that he does not even care about us, but he really is there. We just have to have faith in him that, we just have to have faith that he is there he, because he's once said that even if we go through waters, he will still be with us. We just have to have that faith that no matter what we go through, he is with us. So sometimes other we may think that when we go through things, praise the Lord. Hello. We can hear you, Mr. Grace. Yes, yes. So I'm just saying that sometimes when we go through things, we think that the Lord is not there. We think that he has abandoned us. We think that he is sleeping on us. But his word said that he will never sleep nor slumber. So when we go through things, we just have to have faith that the Lord is there with us. We just have to believe that he is there with us, that the things that we are going through, he is there. He will never leave us. And he will bring it like he, he is there with us. We just have to have that faith that no matter what we are going through, the waters, he, he, like, it will be still, the things that we are going through, it will come to, uh, like, they will pass away, but we have to have faith that God is with us and he will never leave us nor forsake us. That's just my own contribution. We have to have faith in God no matter what we are going through in this life. That's my only contribution, sister. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that one powerful contribution. Yes. You say you don't have nothing to contribute. That is so powerful. Bible is telling us and encouraging each and every one of us today, no matter what you are going through, even though you may think that Jesus Christ or God is not there physically with us, but spiritually God is with us. If only we can have faith, if only we will believe and trust in him without fear, God is able and he is there to guide us and lead us through. He is telling us today, do not be scared. Do not be afraid because he is 
he mm -hmm. is um, mm -hmm. a powerful God and he will not leave us alone. So just have in mind, do not be fear. Fearing of fear of anything or fear of unknown. Most of us do fear of things they don't even know. But God is telling us today, do not be afraid. I don't know why you are laughing. Why we are waiting for the man of God over to you for your own contribution. God bless you, Sister Toha. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Bless you too. Amen. As I have spoken well, I just want to add, we'll see where we started from. He said something that is a candle bird to put under a bushel. The truth is that we as children of God, we have been called to be light, to shine. And God is not expecting us to hide our light. He wants our light to shine for others to see. He wants our light to shine for people to see it and glorify his name. So if we are hiding our light, how will people see the light? So God is expecting our light to shine out to the world, to be that light that we draw us to himself. And also I want to add, um, he also says something uh, there that caught my attention. He's speaking parable, he's speaking parable and but when they left the place where he gave the parable to the disciples, the Bible said to the disciples, he, he made it known, he explained to them. And that's uh, done on me that until there are some level of relationship or personal intimacy we have with God, there are some things we cannot really know. There are some things that will just be mysteries to us. There are some things that will just be... Uh, belong to us until we really begin to cultivate that uh, level of relationship and intimacy with the Father. And when we begin to cultivate this relationship, this intimacy, then the Holy Spirit will begin to unveil and expand the scriptures to us and begin to give us secrets about the Father and we'll begin to know him more and more. Uh, we cannot truly know him or his word until we have an intimacy, until we have a relationship with him. Because to the people out there is speaking parable, but when he came to the disciples, he explained it to them. He gave them the meaning of what he was talking about, what he was saying. So it means for us to really know Jesus, for us to really know God, for us to really walk with him, we must have a relationship. We must have an intimacy. When we don't have an intimacy with him, there are things we will never know. There are things that will just be blank to us. There are things, but when you begin to cultivate that relationship, when you begin to uh, work with him, then you begin to know him. You begin to know what he loves, what he hates. You begin to know him because there is a relationship and there are things he will begin to expand to you. There are things he will begin to show you. There are things he will begin to tell you because the relationship is not there. Then I will go further to, to also say something about, you know, he said, but without a parable speaking not unto them, when they were alone, he expanded, he expanded all things when they were alone. So beloved, if there is one thing you and I must really desire is that relationship, is that intimacy with the Lord, is that our own personal hour, our own personal time, because that is the place where things are being expanded, where things have been expanded. And the storm is always there. The truth is that as a child of God, we all have storms. There will always be storm. The storm will always be there. But the truth is that in every storm, we must know that the Lord is there with us. Sometimes it might be quiet. It might choose to be quiet. It might choose to be calm. It might look as if it's not there. It might look as if the storm is going to consume us all. But if we can just trust him and activate our faith that very moment, we will see that yes, the Lord will come true for us. All we need to do is to rely on him, trust him. We should be still and see the salvation of the Lord. And we should take away any form of fear or anything that will want to uh, take that place of God in our lives. And see the man of God is here, sir. God bless you. Okay. Bless us so much. Thank you. Uh, Sister Itoha for that wonderful contribution. Um, the enemy is <laughs> fighting in vain. The word of God must, you know, continue. I'll hand over to you, sir. God bless you. 
Okay. Uh, praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, my, uh, I think it was my fault. So I did not check some starting things. And that's why it's like that. So pardon me for that. My data plan went up. It was down. Um, so we'll be looking at something that, uh, something little that the Holy Spirit has prepared for us. Uh, but before we, before we do so, we'll just uh, take a little bit of worship. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, oh, hallelujah. 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 today uh, we're just going to look at a little bit of strategy for evangelism uh, what do I call this uh, online networking evangelism online networking evangelism I hope I got that right um, and uh, it's like networking for the gospel anything for the gospel of Jesus while I was just sitting there I said sit down you can you can hinder the gospel you're too small to hinder the gospel of Jesus Christ because Jesus is very powerful. Uh, I don't want to, okay. Um, because Jesus is very powerful, and uh, I'm like, he cannot hinder the gospel. The enemy cannot hinder the gospel. So, any strategy now we see for the gospel, we use it. Because any strategy Satan sees, he's using it and it's making sense for him and he's getting more souls and it's, he's making more disciples. And we are going to use every strategy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sister Sufficient, you're welcome. Um, and uh, Sister, Sister Sufficient, Unuchuku, and Sister Helena, you're welcome. Um, so you're welcome to our little evangelism strategy. Um, and um, that's Lamadain. Lamadain. Welcome. And um, um, every one of us, you're welcome to the evangelism strategy. So I believe that we'll use these things very well. Um, we'll use it for the propagation of the gospel. I'll read from Matthew chapter 4. Uh, I believe that this is a kind of new update that WhatsApp did. So I want to explain it to us how it can be beneficial for the gospel. Like I said, anything for the gospel, you know, uh, we want to use every means to get souls that we can get for the Lord. And uh, we want to use every means to multiply our number of crown or the pearls in our crown. We want to just use every means that we can. So I'm trying to make it easier for us. You know, nobody is going to have an excuse like, ah, but is it's because of so and so and so. Nobody is going to give me an excuse, you know. Sister Vivian Emela is not going to say, ah, but I cannot. So it's because you are in a good place to do evangelism. You know, I cannot. Um, Sister Titi is not going to give any excuse and say, ah, I cannot, you know. 
if you want a better place, don't worry. If you come down to Nigeria, I can take you to some places, you know, villages, so that you can go and preach the gospel there. You know, I told one of us yesterday that, you know, it's because you are enjoying it in this your glorious place. Come to the village and come and preach gospel. It's not like we don't want to, you know, go to all those places. Come to the village. That's where I want you to come to. And when you preach the gospel there, hey, it will shake your body a little bit. Come there, you know, so that the mosquitoes can bite you. You can do it all for Jesus um, so that, you know, we can treat you sometimes for malaria or typhoid, all for Jesus, all for Jesus. That's all for the gospel. Sister Stella, we want you, anytime you come down to visit, you know, come, you know, and let's go to the villages for evangelism, all for Jesus. The same thing with Brother Godwin, okay, Baram, all for Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We go there, we go preach. We take your children there on a tour, on a tour to preach the gospel in the village, you know. So your children takes the well water, the bath, all for Jesus, all for Jesus. That's how it's supposed to be. So, uh, because that's what the disciples were doing. They did not, it was not better, or it was not glorious for them. Same thing with Sister Ogadima. When you bring your children, you don't keep your children and stock them in a better place. Bring them to the village, all for Jesus. We, we take them to preach the gospel. And they're going to say, Mommy, where are you taking us to? Mommy, you don't like us, but... You tell them all for Jesus, all for Jesus. We'll give all to the Lord. Um, and um, I want to get something here on, on networking, you know. Um, this is when Jesus was calling the disciples. Verse 12, he says, um, that's when Jesus begins or began to preach. Now, when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee and leaving Nazareth. He came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast in the borders of Babylon and Naphtali, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah, the prophet, saying, The land of the land of Zabulon and the land of Naphtali by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee, of the Gentiles. Uh, it says, the people which sat in darkness saw great light, and to them which sat in the region, shadows of death of light is sprung up. From the time Jesus began to preach and to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, but this way I'm, I'm going to... He says in verse 18, and Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, and them um, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men. Fishers of men, I would make you fishers of men if you follow me. And verse 20, and they straightway left their net and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. And he called them, and they immediately left the ship and their father, and they followed him. Now, are you seeing what the strategy Jesus was trying to use here? See, beloved, when God calls one person, he calls multitude of people. I'm not dismayed that God just called Peter, or he called John, or he called these people. I'm looking at the multitude of souls that God calls when he calls one man. Like, when God calls Sister Grace, God calls multitude of people. When God calls Brother Alozier, God calls multitude of people. When God calls, you know, each and every one of us, he calls Sister Veronica, he calls multitude of people. He doesn't just call you. Because when he's calling you, he knows that you will go out there to win other people for him. And so... If you have used the net to catch fish before, 
I don't know if somebody has done that before. You realize that the net just doesn't, one net can bring hundreds of fishes. It's the same thing God wants us to do. Now, I said that we should update our WhatsApp. If you update your WhatsApp now, there are people that might be complaining, you know, we cannot reach this out of fellowship. We cannot do this for fellowship. This, that people give a lot of complaint, you know, and you want to reach the gospel to them. I've come to realize that WhatsApp now has something like a conference. You know, you can make a conference call with WhatsApp. See, you are just one person, but you can reach out to another four persons. That's why I told us to update our WhatsApp. For adventure, for example, you know, nowadays WhatsApp is a very good way that people use to contact each other. Some people don't even load credit on their phone. With WhatsApp, they are able to connect. Now, because um, the world has gone digital, we must be digital. We must use every means, you know, in trying to preach the gospel. Our fathers could not do this, you know. But right now, God has given us the grace to do that. You can even connect, you can tell some people in your office, okay, call me, I'll call you through WhatsApp. You, you mute this person. Like you, you call another person, you mute that person. You can only call up to four people through the new WhatsApp if you update it, you know. When you call these four persons, you mute them. For example, as the message is going on right now, you can, if you have another gadget, definitely there's nobody that doesn't have two gadgets, you know. Or even if you don't have two gadgets, you mute them up on Zoom. You can unmute them and they are hearing what you are hearing. And they are participating of the fellowship. You can even put them on a video, you know. And when you get to put them on the video, they get to benefit of the message. Are you seeing how you can reach the lost? There are people there per adventure that might be all around you, you know, and they don't have like phones or they don't have things to reach out you know there are things that they cannot do or something like that you know that you can easily use your whatsapp to reach out to these people how by engaging them close by you know when you gauge them close by you put the gadgets close by to the zoom and they can be on the video and you, you're even you can be on the video and you're videoing what we are doing here right now and they are getting the message are you seeing how we can use this new tool to reach out to more people? I tried it with like uh, with like three persons, and and by the grace of God, it worked out well. If everybody will mute their mic, you know, in your office also, because we've been talking of strategies, just like Jesus called one or two persons, Simon Peter, he, he called him and he called Andrew, his brother, also. Um, all those people right now, possibly God will be leading you to call them to hear the word of God. See, it is when people hear the message and the word of God, they become disciples. And after they become disciples, before you go out there to preach, you have to be a disciple of Jesus. Like before somebody is called an apostle, before somebody is called a prophet, before somebody is called a pastor, he has to be a disciple of Jesus. The problem that we have in Christianity today is that people are not disciples of Jesus, but they are preaching the gospel. Are you seeing that it's fallacy? Are you seeing it's an understatement? Are, are you seeing that it's a misquote of priority? Are you seeing that this big problem, you know, that we have today, I must become a disciple of Jesus. I must learn to walk like Jesus. I must have the humble spirit of Jesus. I must... Think of my life with Jesus, you know. That's why I like my, my very good mentor, Brother Zach. I, I've been thinking, looking at him. I am another man of God that I'm close by here. We went out for some little bit of mission, you know. And, and I've been looking at, we've been looking at his life, you know. Uh, this man just wants to follow the fullness of scripture. He wants to follow Jesus to the core. He wants to follow Jesus to the core. When I mean to the core, I, 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 told, I told another fellow brother, I know this brother, he will make heaven. At the age of 79, you know, even his children call him Brother Zach Pune. His children call Zach Brother Zach Pune. I've not, I've not heard of that before, you know. I'm sure that man will make heaven because he wants to conform to scripture. So first and foremost, before I'm a minister of God, I become a disciple of Jesus first. And so 
we can use this tool to reach out to people in your office place. You know, all you just need to do, you don't need to do so much. Oh, uh, my sister, sister A, don't worry. I want to call you through WhatsApp. Hold on. Okay, sister B, I want to call you. That your family member that does not want to hear the word of God. Okay, I want to call you through WhatsApp. Hold on. You mute their mic. You mute four people and they're on WhatsApp. Can you imagine if those four people are on WhatsApp? What happens? You connect them to the fellowship. They can, you just keep your gadgets. They are on video, possibly. You to your video, possibly. You keep your gadgets close by with the message that is going on. And you tell them, you know, um, a brother is preaching or a man of God is preaching. They listen to it and they are blessed. You surely know that the message that they will get will bless their life and it will transform their life to live better. Are you seeing how you have reached out to four people? If you continue like that, you can have disciples. See, if you're growing in the Christian faith, it is expedient that you have disciples. When I mean disciples, because if your life is becoming like Jesus, you can also have disciples that you are training so that their life also can become like Jesus. So are you, are you seeing the networking keeps flowing like that? If you keep doing it for four people, before you know it, you are gauging more people. The four people will gauge another four. That's a big networking of multitude of souls. I believe that God is calling us to this. I know we can do it right, so it's not hard. I'm trying to make this thing very easy for us. I don't want us to have any excuse and say, I cannot do this. There's nothing you cannot do. You can do it, you know. I don't want to say, I won't do it, you know. Look at WhatsApp call. It's very easy. You don't need to spend money because if money is the problem, somebody can say, ah, I don't have money to spend. You don't even need to spend money. And this thing makes it easy. I, I, let me talk to every of our country called, you know. If you realize that there's a brother or a sister and it's fine, she's finding it hard to come on Zoom, you know, what do you need to do? You can call the person through this WhatsApp call, you know. You know, Sister Ito, and you know you can do that, you know. If you, like, the person might be finding it hard to come through WhatsApp, up through Zoom, you know. There are some people that maybe their network is not easy, is not easy going. Their Wi-Fi is not working well, so Zoom will not work. Only WhatsApp is working. Yes, we can use this to gauge them also. And then we call them and and... And before you know it, we call four people, we conference them together. Once we conference them together, we can reach out to them. See, Jesus will do anything to reach out to these souls. We are not following the ways of the world. We are not trying to use football to draw people. We are not trying to use music concepts to draw people. We're just trying to use something that God has given to us, you know, that is okay and um, to bring the souls and so that they can hear the word of God. But eventually, in today's my heaven must open. You can do the same thing, you know. Sister Jesse conferences like four people. You know, you can imagine. Hey, I want to call you just like, don't you call your friends on WhatsApp? Don't you call your friends on WhatsApp? Sister, you're gonna, don't you call your friends on WhatsApp? Hey, my friend, I want to call you. Hey, my sister. Hey, how are you? A uh, long time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Uh, please, please, please. Okay, uh, let, uh, just hold on for 30 minutes or one hour. I want you to hear the word of God. Okay, uh, my other sister, you you have muted her now, or she's mute, you know. And hey, my other sister, how are you doing? Oh, sister Helena. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, sisters, they like sisters, or I don't know if sisters, they like brother. Okay, call another brother also uh, from your village. Hey, hey, hey brother. Hey, come, come, come. In this fellowship, there's something that God wants to do. Hold on, hold on. Don't worry, don't worry. You don't need to subscribe. You don't need to do anything. Hold on. Three persons, you know. Um, and before you know it, you just, you can even call somebody in Africa. That's your brother in Africa that doesn't want to hear the gospel or your sister. Uh, okay, Sister Precious, Abby. Sister Precious is her name. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Four. Then just say, patiently be listening to the message. Oh. The message is going on. The fire message is going on. Before you know it, God will call out their problem. Before you know it, the Lord will inspire them and they will be blessed. That's it. It's done already. I, are you seeing how we can use this technology, this tool um, to, to bring light to people so that people can, you know, get the, the gospel? Are you seeing how we can do that? And I believe that it's very easy. God wants to do a mighty revival through this if we use it very well. And then we can gauge more people for the gospel. I, I hope people can hear me. I hope people can hear me. 
Yes, we can. Okay. So God wants to do this, and I believe that he wants to reach out a um, number of souls for the gospel. Let me show something in, in scriptures again. Uh, look at what this uh, wonderful woman did, and she told people about, about Jesus, the, the Samaritan woman, you know. Um, um, that, that's in John. Um, that, that's in John. Uh, that's in John um, chapter 4. In John chapter 4. Um, and, and look at that. John chapter 4, uh, verse 39. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the sin of the woman which testified. He told me all that ever I did. You see, Jesus is a prophet. That's what a prophet does. You know, he speaks the mind of God to the people. Um, he says, he told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans were come unto him, they besought him that he would tarry with them. And he abode there two days. And he abode there two days. Possibly Jesus met this woman. And, you know, Jesus began to speak to her and began to talk to her and began to preach to her. And before you know it, this woman reached out to many other people. So there are some of you from your different country. Maybe you are not Nigerian, you're Kenyan. You're, you're from another country. You're, um, you're from this place or you're from this region or you're from Ghana or you're from that region or you're from Guinea. Wherever you find yourself, you see, you can be like this woman that reached out to her people. And he says that and many more believe because of his own word. He says in verse 42, and they said unto the woman, now we believe, not because of thy saying, for we have heard him ourselves and know that this is indeed the Christ, the savior of the world. Now, after two days, he departed thence, he went to, into Galilee. There are people that will not believe the gospel that we are talking about, except they see the power of God, or they hear it from somebody that is anointed and filled with the spirit of God. You know, So there is something that your neighbor, this person has the spirit of God. I know that this person is speaking the mind of God. And so, paraventure, if you connect people for the gospel through WhatsApp, through this means, can you imagine the revival that you'll be causing? Because when people hear the undiluted word, they say, ah, I've never heard the word of God being preached in this way. And before you know it, they want to stay in that place. Like they tell Sister Ogadima, I've never heard the word of God being preached like from the mouth of Ogadima. And they say, hey, hey, I will come and listen to more of the word. Are you seeing? So we, we, we do a great networking. That those set of people that are being reached out to, they'll go and reach out to other people. Before you know it, we are making disciples of all nations. We are making disciples everywhere. We are making disciples everywhere. We are making disciples everywhere. I know that God will do this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But you see, God will not do this thing except men will move. It's not magic, okay? It's not film trick, okay? He will not do it except men will move. I think one of the things that is destroying evangelism so we need today is because we are too comfortable. We are... We are too relaxed. <laughs> Somebody made a say, you know, that made me laugh. <laughs> the person said something. I said, God help me. It says that the pastors or the general overseers, they don't go for evangelism. They get reports of evangelism. <laughs> the, the brethren in the church go for evangelism. The pastor or the general overseer as a big man, he gets the report of evangelism. <laughs> so his work is to get a report of evangelism. Others, their duty is to go out for evangelism. So you see, I'm not just telling you to go for evangelism. I go for evangelism also. 
So don't say that like he's not telling us he has not done that. I don't know if there is any evangelism I've not done before. I've done all kinds of evangelism. Why? Because I don't believe in just trying to tell you to do something that possibly I'm not doing or I have not done. I do it because I know that it's glorious, you know. And so you too, you should keep doing it because it is wonderful. I know God will bless our lives as we do this also. Another thing again is that as we are doing this evangelism, we are praying. We are praying for the lost souls. We are praying that people will come to the kingdom. We are praying that God will restore them. We are praying that every yoke in their life will be broken and will be shattered. They will come to the Lord. Just like I've told Sister Grace and Sister Gadima to go out, I will keep calling their name because I don't know what they are doing there. I've told them, go out, go out, go out, go out, go out. I don't know if they have done that, though. But the same thing I say to one, I say to all, go out. Sister, uh, what's her name? Sister Amen. Iniza, uh, uh, the same thing like, go out. Go out for evangelism, you know. Each and every one of us, wherever we find ourselves, go out. Go and talk to the people. Somebody was telling me that she went for evangelism. I've not even seen the sign. I don't know if she went. I don't know if she's saying the truth. I don't know if she's lying. I say, okay, where's the picture of the evangelism you went for? So how can I be sure that this person went for evangelism? You know, so how am I sure? So go out. Let me know that, yes, you went for evangelism. Let me know that you went for evangelism. Go out. Use tracks. Go, go to these slums. They should have where they have, where they call slums. Go and reach out to them. Go out. Where we have the poor people, go and reach out to them. Everybody, go out. And so if you are doing this thing, you know, before you know it, see, if you keep preaching the gospel, souls will come to the kingdom. If we keep doing it constantly, they are the ones that we won't tell you, ah, I better go, we church you the fellowship. You don't, you don't even need to tell them about your church. They are, they are the ones that will be asking you the question. I beg, we church you the fellowship. I won't come join you for that place or something like that. That's the principle. That's the principle. Another thing again is that you must spend your money for the gospel. Evangelism will thrive much more. I won't say that it will not thrive without your money. But it will thrive much more if you use it for the gospel. Like if you buy megaphones, if you buy speakers, if you buy tracks and all these things and, and you are using it for the gospel, don't you think it will make more sense? If you were preaching with your mouth constantly, you will wear you, it will, it will wear you off. It will wear you off. But can you imagine what those evangelical tools will do to, to help out? So, my brothers and sisters, I'm challenging. Sister Jack Klein, I've not even seen all these people from the UK. I don't know what as in they are doing, you know. Sister Jack Klein, I've not seen you from the UK. I've not seen your people's work there, you know. Uh, even Sister Eukarya. I don't know. I've not seen them. I think it's that Jesse. I don't know. Is it Jesse or okay. I've not. I've not seen them. I need to see your handwork of evangelism there, brother. Happy with the same thing, sister. Sufficient, sister. Sufficient. We are not far from each other. You know, you are in Nigeria, so I should be able to see your handwork for evangelism, sister. Morin. Yes, sister. Morin. I'm. I'm always. I'm always challenged and I'm blessed. She speaks French and she'll be speaking English at the same time and she'll be doing it. Je vais, je vais, je vais, je vais, something, something, something. Brass, 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 je vais. You know, I'll be seeing all those things, you know. But I don't, I, I, I say that's good, you know. Sister Vivian, Emela, the same thing. Sister Esther, the Kunle, the same thing. So God wants us to go out there to win more souls, you know. And I, I know that God will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. Even Sister Francisca, you know, we are still young. We are still young. We can do it by the grace of God. Brother Godfrey, the same thing. You and our sister, you go there and scatter everywhere for Jesus. Jesus is coming on your car. Put paint. You can even put something like, Jesus is coming on your car. I don't know. Or maybe our cars cannot be used for that, you know. You know, nowadays, I don't, you know, everybody's cars are precious. Bro, Godwin, the same thing. Okay, Baram, if we have cars there, we put, 
I'm not saying you don't need to paint the car, maybe so that it won't it won't spoil the car. I don't know, but you can buy one big banner, put it on the car. Jesus is coming at the side of the car. As you're riding the car, people will be seeing it. It's evangelism. Sister Stella, the same thing, you know. We can do that on our cars. Put all these stickers of Jesus is coming there. It's part of preaching the gospel. I don't know. Yeah. So, but maybe because nowadays, I don't know, maybe people are, I don't know if he's big man or big woman or something like that. There are things people don't do anymore, you know. So I pray that God will help us. Somebody sharing screen. I pray that God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, that's my speaker, right? <laughs> okay. I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus. So let's let's continue. Yes, that, that's our speaker we will use for evangelism. So let's continue in that measure. Yes, Sister City also. The same thing you know, out there, we reach out to muscles. And if we reach our muscles, we disciple them with the undiluted word of God. Listen to me. You don't understand. Satan is multiplying his disciples. You don't understand this thing I'm saying. Go to worry, you will see Satan is multiplying disciples. He's multiplying false prophets. Go to all these places, you will understand. Go to Abuja, you will see people prophesying with lying tongues. The Lord said, your number is this, your name is this. These people are getting billions of souls. So you want us to be keeping our hands like that? Go to all these places, come to Lagos. You will see, go to Portacourt, you will see them. You see people that are, that are, <laughs> don't let me begin to say things here, you know, that are going to meet naked women to get power, to multiply ministry. You don't understand. So you want us to be folding our hands. Go to all these places. You will see people doing things, doing evil, demonic things. And we are there. We are just, we are just waiting. False prophets, they are increasing. They are increasing in their numbers. False teachers increasing in their numbers. These people are taking, taking over territories and nations. They are doing evil, tying people. You have the message of holiness. You have the message of righteousness. Do you want us to keep short? We're not going to keep short until we turn this nation all around. So that's what God wants us to do, you know. In your city, if you count how many pastors that are there, it will take you time for you to see one genuine pastor that has the spirit of God. Even the ones that are genuine, you know, or the ones that have genuine foundations, a lot of things are happening. The love of money has come in there. People are buying all things for their own personal gain. We tell some of you, say, give to the right place. Some of you say, hey, but I just say, I just say, I have this to do. <laughs> something that will make me laugh. I say, I will not be a herbalist. You will not turn me to a herbalist. Some people want to turn me to a herbalist. I will, not, I will never be a herbalist. That's not what God a prophetic powerful this you have the person have not been okay i asked you have not been paying your time and she said bro you say please pray for me i said i cannot pray what do you want me to pray go and do what you need to do and you will be blessed you know i will not be like balaam and balak and all these people you know they know the right thing to do from the word of god and see here they are expecting somebody to come and be releasing anointing and be prophesying ah you don't I mean i will not be like that too. i will not be a herbalist I will follow the word of God. You follow the word of God and you get blessed. So there are many false prophets all around. But it's like you don't understand that Satan is causing a great revival with witchcraft powers. He's causing this thing all around. So what about we? What are we going to do? Are we going to keep our hands folded like that? And why the devil is getting a greater hand in these last days is because the children of God with the message of righteousness and holiness, they are keeping quiet. How many times have you seen the churches in your streets going out for normal evangelism? What they organize, is not crusade, conference program, even the holiness ministries are not around. I don't know if I've seen one day where everybody in the church goes out for evangelism. How many times? Nobody does outreach anymore, but they can do crusades, program. You don't understand. We are here for revival, you know. We are not here to be played. We are here to reach out. We are here to tell the world, you know, about the coming of Jesus Christ. We are here to be different. We are not like other nations. We are here to be different. With a difference, you know, with a burden, with a fire. I know that God will do all these things in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I encourage us, my brothers, my sisters, 
Don't be afraid. Don't let the devil tell you, you know, I'm shy. That's why I can't go. What do you mean you are shy? There's nothing like I'm shy. You go there and you go and preach the gospel. There's nothing like I'm shy. Project, you see? <clears throat> My voice is not good, you know. I don't know how one sister says it. But you know, say, I'm shy. I'm shy. What do you mean by you are shy? You are shy for Satan or you are shy for Jesus. What are you shy for? Go and preach the gospel. Go and reach out to people, you know. Go and tell them, you know, that Jesus is coming very soon. And when you do this, see, there are things evangelism does for us. It's like you don't understand. There are prayer points you don't even need to make. Evangelism will take care of it, you know. I know God will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That work you want to go to, what if we, if we, you know, somebody wants to go to work and we are talking about something here, the person wants to go to work. You're not going to work, okay? Wait, but if you go to work, are you going to introduce this WhatsApp conference call to people at your working place now? Also, it's easy. Hey, my friend, come, come, come. Let me conference you. Today's my heaven must open. My heaven must open. Come, 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 come. I want to conference you. I want to conference you. I want to conference you. Sister Grace, to all those your um, people at school, are you going to introduce it to them? Okay, okay, come, 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 come. Um, You know, and you conference them together or something like that. And uh, we want to reach out to you. The same thing to all of us, you know. Sister Ogadima, so before you know it, we'll reach out to more souls, you know. I'm not saying that we should do evangelism now. There are people that they will do the evangelism. The devil will capture them. Instead of they should capture the devil, the devil will capture them, you know. <laughs> and they will fall. Um, if you know you are not, if you know you don't have power, go and ask the Lord for the grace, you know. So not such kind of people, but the ones that will capture the enemy, that will capture souls. I know he will do it. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. So I use different means just to make people to be engaged. I, I try to say, not that I want to make you laugh, you know, but I just I just do that, you know, because I, I don't want to be like, <laughs> I don't want I don't want to be a preacher that you know um I cannot easily reach out to people, you know, and I don't believe holiness is you know frowning your face or something like that. So I do these things so that you can be reached out, you know, and I'm still very young, you know, I'm not old, so, <laughs> so I should not, <laughs> you know, I should be myself, you know, when preaching the gospel, okay? Um, okay, somebody wants to ask a question. I'll just take if there are any then before I hand over to um, the sis uh, sister. Yes, it's that Jacinta or something. I think that's it. You can continue. I think, sister, that has a question. Please make it brief. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I don't. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless everyone of us. Thank you, sir, very much. Please, my question, sir, is, is this. I normally go, I normally go on evangelism. Yeah, uh, innately, I don't naturally know the, the, the language. So what I do is I carry a, 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 a carton. I don't know if you can see this. I carry a carton and I write on it. I make something like this. I don't know if you can see it. I make something like this. And I carry it along with me. When I, we are, wherever I'm going out for evangelism, he's saying Jesus is coming very soon. Give your life to Jesus. Jesus loves you. Give your life to Jesus. The fire, the hell fire is real. Turn to Jesus. Repent from your sin. I translated it uh, in Italian language and I wrote it on this, on this, uh, on this carton, on this carton like this, with stick like this. So wow. as I was starting this thing, you know, I went to school. I went to take my 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 son to school. So I normally go go with it to the school. So the day I went there, yeah, their teacher saw it and he was like, I was outside the gate because all the parents will gather at the gate before they open the the the, the gate for the children to enter. So everybody gathers in front of the gate. So I will carry it like this and stand in front of the gate everywhere where everybody will see it. And the woman, she just saw it, she came with anger, with anger and told me that I should just go and throw away that thing. I should go and throw away that thing. 
that she's going to call call the security for me. I said, okay, no problem, call security. So she left, she didn't come again. So the next day now, I, I went there. I did what I want to do and I came back. So the, uh, that was on Saturday. Then on Monday, this Monday, you know, I was in the house trying to go and take my children from school. The, uh, my bell rang and a policeman came. And the policeman said, uh, am I the one that went to the school to, to carry some cars? And so there's a way he spoke it in Italian language. I didn't understand it very well. So I told him, I don't understand what you're saying. Can you address me in English? He said, okay, so he brought out his phone. And in his phone, they, used, they captured all my pictures as I was carrying this banner around. They captured every of my pictures. So he was showing me, are you this? I said, yes, I am the person. He said, okay, that this is against their law. That is against their law. I should not carry this. You know, it's against their, their law. So he began to write fines for me. I told myself, how can it be against, against your law? for me to, to carry this thing. He said it's against their law. I said, it's Jesus that gave you people, those little children. It's Jesus that gave you life. It is Jesus that created this heaven and the earth. You cannot force Christ out of this earth. He is the owner of this earth. You cannot force him out of this earth. As long as I live here and as long as Jesus lives, he will reign in this land. He will reign in this land. You cannot push Christ out of this, out of this land. He said that it, it, it is against the law. So he wrote fines for me, almost 20, 28 euros. That, and, and they know that I normally carry it to the park where people are. And he tell me that I should only put it in my house. Anything outside my house, I should not carry this thing anywhere. Anywhere they see me, they will give me, they will give me fine. I should not take it to the park. I should not take it to walk on the road because they know I normally carry it to walk on the road. I should not take it to walk on the road. That anywhere they see me with this thing, they will give me, they will give me fine. So he wrote that muta. So when he wrote that muta, I told the man, I, he, he said I should sign. I said I cannot sign. Because until you explain everything you've written there in English to me, he said you cannot accept. So after everything, the man he signed by himself. I told him, I said, okay, you are the one that have signed it, so you are the one that will pay, pay for it. So let me, my husband was like being troubled. He was asking me, this motor, this uh, fan, this fan. So I told my husband that he should not trouble himself. Because he wanted to go and meet the police and uh, meet them in their office to, to, to see if he can sort out. So I was asking, I said, don't trouble yourself. Just leave, leave the, the fans there. Yeah? And uh, if a company sends someone to go and work for them and the person insures anything, fine. Is it not the company that pays for it? For it? I didn't go out on my own name. I went out with, I went out with the name of Christ. He's the name that, he's his name that I wrote on the banner. So let Jesus go and pay the money. And I was with my own business with it. I, 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 got my own. I was commissioned. He told me to go and, and do it. And I went and did it. So any consequences that came out for us, asked for me, let Jesus carry it now. So I was telling my husband yesterday, say, let Jesus carry it. Stop bothering yourself and stop disturbing me. Let Jesus carry it. If you cannot carry it now, let him leave. It's not it's none of my own business. I've got to do what I, I've got to do. Since they want to stop me from this thing, I've done, I've decided I will go and look for white clothes that I will, I will buy. I will buy it and this same thing, I will write it on my clothes and be wearing it. Mm-hmm. So let them come and tell me to remove my clothes. Let them come mm-hmm. and do my clothing as for me. That's what I've decided mm-hmm. to do. Praise the Lord. So I want, my question is, the, the, the money, uh, that's the money, what I decided about the money, is it, is it correct? Is it good? Uh, so that tomorrow I will, I will not be like, uh, he says, oh, no, man, nothing. So that it's not your thing. I am only the government. <laughs> not- oh, oh, which, oh, which government? <laughs> I know now if it's some persons now, they say, sister, use wisdom. Use wisdom, use wisdom. We are not, we are not using any wisdom here, okay? You went to do the business of it. I hope we are learning something from what the sister said. See, nothing gives me joy when I see a woman that can die for Jesus. You, 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 you shake my heart. When I see a woman that can go the extra mile for Jesus, because I like when people suffer for Jesus. I like when people die and they are killed because of Jesus. I like when people are shot because of Jesus and because of their faith. That's what has made me drawn close to some people, you know, because I like it when somebody can die for the sake of the gospel. So my sister, you have done what is right and you are paying no fine. 
that's their own business also let yes jesus let jesus go and pay fine for you you know but for you you are paying nothing because you want to do the business of your father you know and so there's nothing wrong in somebody preaching the gospel and it's not any law if they want to put you in prison you know it's good if you die in the prison it's also good okay no problem at least you will go to heaven and it's the right thing god has not given you the grace so the bible says that be happy that you have been counted worthy to face and to go through all these things. Some people will not do it now, you know. Is it that the woman does not want to do, I'm a fine woman, I'm a fine girl, I'm a fine woman, I'm fine. Let me not carry it like this. Let me, ah, can I dress myself with Jesus? You see, see, this is somebody that decided that I don't need to pamper anything. You know? She's doing it bumper to bumper. She's going the extra mile. My beloved, I want us to follow that path. I hope we are hearing. Sister Grace, are you hearing? Uh, Sister Elena, are you hearing? Sister Jesse, have we all heard? Sister Ogona, have everybody, brother, have we heard? Everybody, we are not uh, pampering anything. We go, we do it fire for fire, you know. Then we hear the gospel by fire by force. So that's how it is, you know. And so you have done what is right. I know that the Lord, we know how to fix up every other issue in Jesus' name. Let me read this sister's uh, uh, question, sister sufficient. She says, I don't know how to handle this situation when preaching to someone I know is not born again. And the person starts telling me, hey, telling me about marriage and starts saying, I would desire to marry a godly woman like me. I become uncomfortable and normally avoid such person because I don't know how to handle it. I need advice on how to handle such situation. Uh, okay, the Holy Spirit will help you, know. but uh, when you find yourself in such situation, you are praying, you are preaching, you know, and somebody that is not born again, you know, is saying something else. I think you need divine wisdom on how to interact you know, with such kind of questions, you know. Hey, somebody says, and you're preaching, ah, like you, will you marry me or something like that? You can say um, um, I, that there's somebody that you can get married to, you know, that is very wonderful. You can use the story of the marriage of Jesus with the person. Uh, and, you know, you can, there's a way you can introduce Jesus about his marriage to the bride, you know, and saying that, don't worry, that. Somebody much more better than me is going to marry you right now. You know, are you ready to marry? The person can say, I want to still marry you. It's you, it's you. Say somebody much more beautiful, you know, much more glorious wants to marry you. And, and then before you know it, you know, um, before you know it, we're going, you, you, you're going to... Uh, before... There's no need to uh, plead. Uh, so, so before you know it, you know, you're going to get that uh, that soul for the Lord. So I think you just need to pray and cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. And when you find yourself in such situation, don't be carried away and say, hey, 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 hey. Okay, 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 I will marry you. Okay, 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 I will marry you. Okay, after I finish preaching the gospel now, I will marry you. Okay, you just kill yourself because... It doesn't work that way, you know. But you can use that to draw the person closer to the Lord. Like when the person is telling you all those things now, you say, okay, don't worry, don't worry. I know that the Lord will make a way. Just come, just come to so so and so so and so so. You introduce the person to fellowship. And when the person find, finds Jesus, well, the person might stop talking about such kind of sin also. And also ensure you dress properly well, you know. If a there is no way if a brother sees that you are dressing somehow, you have show back and show front, you know, and um, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And so you are not properly dressed. The brother can be, you know, it can be on, I don't know how to put it. You know, it can be working in the flesh. Then before you know it, it will begin to, you can begin to see all those things. But if you are dressing very, everywhere is covered, you know, like our sisters, you see the way sister, you don't have dress now or something like that. Or every, any one of us, you know, mo many of us dress well, you know, sister Grace and all of us, you know, nobody might want to come and be saying all those things. 
So I think also, let's also be mindful of the way we dress so that in such a way that it doesn't um, seduce also. And also there are some sisters also that I must commend that have seducing spirits. You know, if you notice these things happen to you constantly because the person is not just talking marriage for marriage, the person is lost, you know, after you. So it's because there's a spirit you carry. So do well to go for deliverance, you know. My heaven must open it there so that I, I don't, I'm not saying this for anyone, you know. I'm saying if you notice generally something like that, you know, then, you know, that spirit needs to be taken away, okay? I know God will have his way in Jesus' name. I, I believe that that, I don't know if there is any other question um, before um, I just hand over. Um, okay, if there is none, I'll just pray with us, a simple prayer, and then uh, hand over to our sister. So let me see. Let me see your hands up. How many persons are going to follow this strategy we've talked about? I give us so much of secret every day, but I don't know if we are following this secret that we hear. Let me see your hands up. How many of us are going to, are going to start following this principle and this conferencing that I talked about and inducing? I can't see your hands up. can't see your hands up. I can't see our hands up, which means that some of us are not going to follow the principle, you know, of conferencing and bringing souls to the kingdom through different means. Um, Sister Itoa, are you going to follow the the I strategy that we've read? Who is that? I have a question. Okay, Sister Stella. Okay. Um, Please be brief. Sorry, because of time. Yes, it's not a long question. Um, if we have any other method we use that is much easier, you know, um, can we adopt to the method that is easier for us, personally, you know? Okay. Like, uh, like, you know, most people, uh, they are flint in you know, talking to somebody. They are bold. Some are not bold. And um, some can share tracks, you know, where they cannot use words, they can use tracks, you know. So um, my question is, can we use a method that we are more confident, you know, using. Okay. Yes, any method that we are comfortable with, as long as it leads to reaching out of souls, you know. And another thing I must correct, there is nothing like some people are bold and some people are not bold. Once the power of the Holy Spirit comes, you know, boldness comes in because the influence of the holy spirit is boldness though some people's nature like, uh, are... sorry i'm sorry to cut you yeah. like what i mean is there are some people you go to them you want to talk to them they already cut you off they don't even want to listen you know okay if you have a track if you have a track you hand it over to them they might look at it and uh you know you tell them take you know take time to read it god bless you you know, they put it in, in their pocket. You know, some are not even approachable. That is the thing. The moment they see you, they don't even want to talk with you. So you don't even have, like, the boldness to even say, this is what I want to say, they, because they are not ready to listen, you know. But uh, if you have a track, you can just hand it over to them. They will take it from you. So that's... Like, you know, yes, you know what you have said. These are things we experience. See, one of the things I've realized is it's impossible to do evangelism without. See, people will insult you. There are times whereby we've gone out to preach, and the way people even look at us as if, <laughs> you know, as if like, as if you're low life, you know, you don't know what you're doing, you know, you're useless, you're good for nothing, something like that, you know. I think this way. where humility comes in, as in, I've realized it's impossible to do evangelism without having some kind of 
taking some kind of things, endurance. You, you just take it because of the sake of Jesus, the humility of it. Or because these things, I think God will be using it to train all of us. Because it, it happens to me most times also. You know, you reach out to somebody and the person looks at you and like, what do you think you are coming to preach to me about? You know, please, please go. Even some people's own are even worse. They will talk to you in such a way that it will even bring down your spirit. But I think that God is trying to teach us something in this to make us know that no matter what people do to us, that that's the price we need to pay for reaching out to people. So let them keep doing it. All I know is that I've reached out, you know, I will still go and I will press on to meet other people. I must not stay in one corner. After Judea, Samaria, I go to the uttermost part of the earth, you know, I must just continue. So no matter what people do is part of it. In short, evangelism is not complete without insults, Evangelism is not complete without people looking down on you. Evangelism is not complete, you know, without, you know, people trying to talk bad things about you. Evangelism is not complete without all those things. So I think it's the grace that we need, you know, to continue because I must, I must confess my sister, it's not easy, you know, but I know that God's grace is sufficient for us, okay? Okay, so no problem. So any means that we can reach out to people, please do. But any means that we are reaching out, our mouth will be involved and our hands will be involved and our legs will be involved. And if possible, our gadget have given us WhatsApp. WhatsApp now, you know, we can do that. And I think it will be very much easy. Any other means again, if you know of any other strategy, please, you know, write to me, send to me. I might not know many that you people will know so write to me and i will now think about it you know and i know that god will see us through in the mighty name of jesus somebody wrote there that she's going to connect another sister i see that's the spirit no time you know that's the spirit that's the spirit that's the spirit that's the spirit. if it were a business that people were doing they would have those days when people used to introduce to me networking business if you know the way these people do their networking bring four people another person bring another four people i'm like boy these people are doing something here I don't know if some people have introduced such business to you. You even see it on our, our WhatsApp forum sometimes. If you bring four people, you will bring four, another four. See networking these people are doing in the world. We can do networking and do our networking for Jesus Christ, the living son of God. What's our product? What's our product? Holiness, righteousness, truth. I know God will do it in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, King of all glory, we bless you for this wonderful grace you've given to us, Lord. We know it is not by power. Nobody can say he can do it on his own. Nobody can say he has the strength of his own. We are not leaning on our own righteousness, on our own boldness to do it. We have the power of the Holy Spirit in us. We have the DNA of Jesus in us. I have the life of Jesus in my spirit. You have the life of Jesus in your own spirit. Oh Lord God Almighty, we are what Jesus says we are. We are royal priesthood, oh Lord God Almighty. And you have given us the grace to go out there to win more souls. Oh Lord God Almighty, Lord, Help us to reach out continuously until we leave the earth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as we reach out, Lord, give us the grace to disciple these people so that this wicked, evil, false prophet will not come and chain them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, I release the anointing of the fire of the Spirit of God as they go out, those ones that will come and bring down the spirit of our beloved brothers and sisters that will begin to tell them words that would, you know, depreciate, that would depress their minds. Oh, Lord God Almighty, I'm not saying you should take this thing away from us. Give us the grace to bear all this in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Because patience is a fruit. Perseverance is a fruit. Endurance is a fruit. Give these things to us in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Oh, Oh, Lord, as we go out there, Lord God Almighty, we are not ashamed of the gospel. I thank you for our sister. Yes, they told her to pay that. I decree upon that sister's life. The kind of money that you have not seen before, Jesus will give it to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will be feeling the overflow of financial abundance. It will be so mighty because you have chosen to stand for the Lord. Anything you place your hand upon, it must prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to receive dimension of 
prosperity that you can never phantom out so that you will use it for the gospel. And the policemen, they will know that you see Jesus is Lord. And when they tell you about all these things, you don't even mind spending $1,000 for evangelism. All that matters is that Jesus is being preached. It will be so also for every member in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God Almighty, the body that we need, the grace that we need, the understanding to do what we are doing, give it to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God Almighty, for our sisters, Lord, any area, Lord God Almighty, that will be their weakness, Lord, anybody that will begin to induce some kind of thoughts to them, Lord God Almighty, oh Lord, give them the wisdom that surpasses all understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. As we go, our day is blessed, our week is blessed, anything we lay our hearts is blessed. Oh Lord God Almighty, prosper our ways mightily. Oh Lord, I decree a mighty financial abundance in the life of every brethren in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree spiritual fire. I decree spiritual fire also. I decree the drunkenness of the things of the spirit in the life of your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we want to be complete in you. We want to be complete in you. Help us. Anything we need for the gospel. Oh Lord, because they say money is the jet of the gospel. Oh Lord God Almighty, give us the grace, oh King of all glory in Jesus Christ's name we we'll pray to buy everything for the gospel. Oh Lord God Almighty, to begin to destroy the works of darkness with our finances. If we have so much, oh Lord God Almighty, we can go to the bar and buy all the cigarettes and burn them. We can go to the bar and buy all the alcoholic drink and burn them and throw them away. We can go to the bar and buy all their rubbish, but we'll throw them away because we have the amount. We have the finances. We have the money. We have the abundance to be able to do this for the gospel. Oh Lord God Almighty, give us your grace in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Thank you Lord for this boldness you have given to our beloved sisters and brothers. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. So let's remember our normal activities. Our um, My heaven must open today by 6. Everybody please be there and enjoy the fire of revival by the special grace of God. And then let's remember our Sunday. Our Sunday is combined service, okay? I believe so. Combined service is by 10 a.m. with our communion service. Let's remember, bring your communion, okay, so that we can eat together and we can break bread as one family together by the grace of God. I think also we'll definitely have our normal drama at the end of, you know, uh, this thing. So uh, feel relaxed and enjoy fellowship um, as the Holy Spirit will want it to be. I believe it will be a glorious one. In Jesus Christ's name, we we'll pray. Amen. Let's remember our country fellowship meetings. Okay, uh, I know that somebody is not happy with me. There, don't don't be don't be angry. But we must do this. You know, the gospel comes first. Okay, so let's remember also our normal meetings that we need to have. Let's be there in the meetings. I think Germany people will have your meeting today. I'm talking with your coordinator and let's let's pray for him also because very soon he will be joining us back over there by the special grace of God. And uh, if there are any other thing, you know, you can feel free to um, write to me and we will look into it by the grace of God and keep praying for every one of us, keep praying for the ministers also. And then remember that this Sunday also is Welfare Sunday. Welfare Sunday, how do you want us to do that, you know? So if you want to be a part of it, you know, get to bro Godwin, okay? And I know that uh, God will bless our life and enrich us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything we are doing is all for the gospel, you know, is all for the gospel and it's all to reach out to people, you know. And let's remember also, let's also have the habit of, you know, giving to the work of God. I think it's very important. I was discussing with one man of God, you know, and he said one of the things that have affected some ministries in Nigeria that are holiness ministries is because the man of God that is the king of holiness or the chief of holiness, you know, he doesn't even talk about money. It's hypocrisy when you know that this thing will bless your church member and you decide not to talk about it because you are saving your own skin and you don't want people to say, let people say what they want to say. When you come to the headquarters, you will know what we are using money to do, you know. So I pray God will help us to have that giving spirit and, you know, to be able to destroy the enemy with a uh, giving so that the work of God, you know, can flourish and it can be spread across in Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Somebody is sleeping there, please don't sleep, you know, um, please don't sleep, okay? I know God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. To, to Sister uh, Yugona. 
Praise the Lord. I thank you so much for uh, that strategy of evangelism you have given to us. Um, I pray that the Almighty God will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our daily meet today will be taken from the book of um, Psalms chapter 21, but still the title says faithfulness. It says, I has given him his heart desire and has not withholding the request of his lips. The message says, there are desires as Christians we all have, and they are not wrong as long as they don't go off scriptural contest. It's God's will to fulfill our heart desire. Every earthly father would love to do, every earthly lovely father would love to do this to his son, but his son must be faithful towards him. Faithfulness is what God requires from his children. Desire um, this depth of Christian life and open heavens are inevitable. Um, points to ponder. Faithfulness is what God requires. Prayer points, Father, help me to be faithful to you in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the Almighty God will help us um, to be faithful in everything that we do. When you are faithful in the things of the Lord, the Almighty God will bless you and will grant us our heart desire according to his riches in glory, as long as that is in accordance to the word of God. And whatever he blessed us with, we'll use it in the gospel and evangelism and in the house of God. May God bless each and every one of us. I love you all. I thank you all for the strength, especially the U.S. and Canada people. I love you all for your patience staying. It is 2 a.m. our time. And most of us will be up by 5 a.m. again this morning. Only have three hours. And I pray that the almighty God will give each and every one of the strength. Um, to continue to hold on and not to um, fall off in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Let us also remember that, um, okay, it's been said, tonight is our heaven must open. Let us all try and endeavor to come. May God bless each and every one of us. I love you in the name of Jesus, amen. And I'm gonna hand over to, um, um, Sister Maureen, could you please no, uh, lead us, just round us in a prayer, short, um, just round us in a short prayer. If your background is okay. Okay, Brother Godfrey, can you please lead us in a short closing prayer, sir? In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Precious Father, we just thank you this morning. We appreciate you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness upon our life. Thank you for all that you have been doing for us. Thank you, Lord, God, for the need to evangelize. Thank Lord for giving us this commission. For this is the most important thing we have come here to do on earth. To represent you, to be ambassadors of heaven on earth. To preach this gospel. And Lord, we have been talking about different means of preaching this gospel. For I just pray for divine wisdom. So that Lord can be able to present your gospel to the world the way they will understand. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, we cannot do it without you. We need that anointing, that zeal, that boldness to go out there and preach this gospel. And so, Father, and I just ask, quicken us and uphold us in the name of Jesus. We rebuke every spirit of slumber. We rebuke every spirit of excuses that make us to be discouraged from going out there. Help us to go out there, Lord, and go with all boldness. So we don't need to be ashamed of you. Because if you're ashamed of you here, you'll be ashamed of us in heaven. Help us, Lord, never to give any excuse in the name of Jesus. And Father, we take authority over any power outside there that want to stand against us to evangelize. 
Lord, our God, as we preach your word, every name must bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, our God, any stubborn spirits, I will start again, so we command them to bow in the name of Jesus. Lord, our God, help us and uphold us. The Father's soul shall submit to your word and to your name in the name of Jesus. And Lord, our God, we pray as we do your work, bless us spiritually, bless us physically. That will not ask us, where is your God? In the name of Jesus. So, Father, we are praying for divine provision. We are praying for divine care and divine protection. That can be to preach the gospel and serve the truth. We are serving the living God. In the name of Jesus. Father, as you go out today, go out ahead of us. Provide for us and protect us. Let your grace be upon our lives. We shall not deviate from your word. In the name of Jesus. We are not step to a place where we don't want us to step to. And Father, we shall not think what is negative. We shall not act what is wrong against the world. But Father, we shall live as believers indeed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, this morning for answering our prayer. Pray for leadership of realm. Lord, I go put everyone. Pray for members. Or put everyone. Strengthen everyone. We cover every soul with the blood of Jesus. Lord, thank you this morning. Be that glorified, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, um, Brother Godfrey, for that um, closing prayer. May the Almighty God continue to strengthen you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm going to hand over to us this people how to you please lead us in our um, in our monthly declaration. God bless the sister. Amen. This is my month of holiness. This is my month of holiness. So get ready for the coming of Jesus. To get ready. Get ready for the coming of Jesus. To live a life above sin and oppression of darkness. To live a life above sin and oppression of darkness. To press unto perfection in this heavenly journey to heaven. To press unto perfection. So help me go. So help me go. And the people of God say, Amen. 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 Let us share the grace of God in fellowship. May the grace of yes, God. Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Love. The love of God. And the fellowship, fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Rest, Rest in about in with us now, now forevermore. forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall, shall follow us. Follow us. All, the all the days of our lives. And we all we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and, and ever. And ever. Amen. 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 Shalom. Shalom, everyone. Shalom. Love you all. Amen. Shalom. God bless you, each and every one of us. Amen. Bye, God bless you. Bye. 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 Good night. Sleep well. You too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's laughing? I don't know why they are laughing. Sister, you know, you need to sleep your sound somehow. <laughs> yes, yeah. Is that Grace, please, can you try and log off this thing? I can't even log out anymore. Me too, I tried. I cannot. I don't know why I can't log out. I'm trying to. I'll try, but it won't allow me. <laughs> <laughs>